You know, I think that I've always developed this sense of um, creating opportunities and playing into people's natural inclination to want to influence things um, and influence change. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, when, I, when I I thought a lot about this, but when you talk about people's motivations, people want to feel that they make a difference. And that's a big motivator, not just for me, but for many people in the workplace, right? And sometimes it's not that they're moving molehills or anthills or mountains. It's that they're just making some, what they're doing makes some difference. Mm -hmm. And the opposite in that they feel they're not making any difference and going to work makes zero difference to right. anybody at any time is also such a, a motivation killer mm -hmm. so I've always played into this notion that everybody really wants to make a difference if you how give did you them learn that, that how did you learn just to experience yeah just just to, it's something you just noticed noticed and also I always um, I've, that's always been a big motivator for me. How, how can I influence change in a positive way, right? Because mm -hmm. you want to go to work, and at the end of the day, when you go home, it's much more satisfying to say, you know what, I got something done. And sometimes it's not even like, oh, we have a new policy, you know, <laughs> an HR policy. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's, it's actually, um, I built a table. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, like so, I, yeah. I get the same satisfaction of you know working at the cottage. And <laughs> That's so funny because <laughs> literally into Christmas, just did the exact. It was like I've got nothing else going on. My wife, my wife is doing like the mug I gave you. My wife does heat pressing and stuff like that, right. and and went out and bought some wood. And it's not a thing I do. And I built, and I was like, that was the most accomplished I've felt <laughs> most of the year. Right. <laughs> but you know, if you play on that idea. <laughs> You know, I'm not a carpenter, right. but, you know, I do go out and, and take a chainsaw and, you know, cut wood and stuff. It, that's a really satisfying feeling. Yeah. At the end of the day, when you're going to bed and say, well, you know, I cut a quart of wood today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, right. but I feel good. Yep. <laughs> Don't forget, you can subscribe to our full audio episodes on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you find your audio podcasts. The full episodes, highlights, and our live off-the-floor performance videos can be found at our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The AVB Podcast. Of course, you'll find links to our incredible sponsors and this week's guest in the description below. The AVB Podcast is part of the Border City Network. Find more great content at BorderCityNetwork.com. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.